You bought them because it said it's fortified with bite juice, huh? That's why you come fishing on a Tuesday. Ain't nobody here. We're out here creek fishing. Check your lens. Make sure your 4K's on. You're not in slow-mo. I'm in slow-mo. 180p. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the next episode of Wiley Boys. We are at uh, a creek that we've been fishing for over a year now, I guess. Um, we only fish it three to four times a year. Sand bass is coming to an end right now. Um, the season is probably got like a couple weeks left. Should be prime this time of year though, so hopefully we can catch a quick limit for you guys. It'll be easy out here today. It should be an easy day. The sand bass stack up here. As you can see behind me, there's like a log jam right there. They used to stack up before the log jam, but now there's a little split and come through, so. We got a ton of current right here too, guys. A ton of current. Yeah, it just looks like a juicy spot that sand bass would be. This is stuff that we look for every time we fish. Tons of current. They just, like, do y'all see this? Like, this looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks perfect. Bro, let me tell y'all how cold it is. Right now it's 51 degrees. Um, it's been 80 degrees the past few days, so the water temp should be up and these fish should be ready to eat, so. What are we throwing today, Drew? Start off with a little curly tail two inch grub, one eighth jig head. The only reason I'm choosing this is because this is probably worth 25, 30 cents. This looks like a pretty snaggy area, so you don't want to be throwing expensive rooster tails and stuff like that, so. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Blip, 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 blip. Got a pink jig head, one eighth ounce, curly tail, two inch curly tail grub by Young Grubs. One good thing about this part of here, guys, is you could pretty much throw anything at these fish during the beginning months of sand bass season. It's usually kind of chilly in the mornings. You're not getting that good warm weather every day consistently. So sometimes you got to throw jigs, run it slow, bounce it slow, fish slow just in general. But when you're out here fishing these 80 degree weather days, you could pretty much throw anything and you don't got to reel slow or do any of that. So get it out there, do a quick retrieve. They should chase it. They should hit it. No problem. I've caught it. Oh, there we go. Good start, guys. I ain't disappointed with that. I don't think anybody would be. It's a male. I don't know if y'all see that. It's for sure a male. Pop that jig right out. He wanted it too. That's why I was talking about those warm days, man. I'll chase that and eat it. So I believe by those fish you're hitting right in front of me is you got this bend that comes around. You got the main current coming through right here. And you can't really tell, but there's this bank that comes down that I'm standing on. And so the main current's coming out there. And it's pretty much causing like a little current break pocket right here at my feet. So I believe that's why I caught those two right here at my feet. They're just hanging out in this slack. There we go. Another male. It's number three right there, guys. Hey, that's three. We only need 25. Oh, I just missed another one. I wish this damn tree wasn't hanging over the fucking edge like this. Right at my feet, guys. Both of these last fish right at my feet. That's a big male. Actually, I think we got our first female. Looks like she's laying some eggs. Doesn't look fat at all, though. Not sure how much this will help, but let's try and wash these eggs off into this water. Not sure exactly how that works, but not a giant female, but definitely the biggest one of the day, I believe. Yeah, doggy, right here at the current break, boy. My Andrew told me to get this, my boy. Firemen everywhere. Andrew literally just told me to come over here, guys, because he caught one in this current break. He literally hit two feet from the bank, bro. Look how that guy swallowed that, man. He literally hit that so close. You ain't going nowhere, Jack. Nice little, like, 14, 15 inch fish right here. Season's on the way, on, on the way out, right? unfortunately. We got probably about a good month left of fishing left. Um, I don't know how good this last month's gonna be, but. These fish are definitely gonna make us work for them today. Right here in that current break, I was saying, guys. It's another good 12, 13 inch sandy right there. It's one thing I've noticed about these past few fishing trips I've been on and it's I'm only catching males and the only reason I can think of that is that these fish are mating right now, spawning, doing whatever they're doing and these females are just not eating right now. 
So I'm hoping that within the next few weeks, the females will be ready to eat. We'll be catching a lot bigger fish. I'm not disappointed in the male size I've been catching, but something different when you're catching those females, those big two pound white bass. Those are a lot more fun to fight. It's my first time fishing right here this year, so I need to figure out the water depth. And if I need to be reeling a little bit slower, it looks super snaggy, so I don't want to reel too slow. Definitely don't want to be dragging the bottom. Those fish could be hugging bottom. Holy sh! Oh, I'm good, cut. Yeah, I'm sinking in the water, boy. <laughs> now my little footsie's all wet. Damn, that bank just uh, decided to give up. Fish on, guys. He feels probably definitely keeper. You see him guys, he's swimming around, dude, you see that? Oh dude, he's swimming everywhere. Oh no, he's jumping out the water. I've actually never caught anything on this color of curly tail, so that's pretty cool. Doing a black curly tail now, guys. That's crazy. That's a good 12 inch fish right there, guys. Off to, off to a terrific start we are today, mate. We're off to a pretty good start today, aren't we, mate? We're not doing terrible though. Tank, bro. It's definitely a tank. Definitely a tank, boy. That is a giant male, dude. Holy. Holy. Giant male. It's a good 16 inch fish for sure. Big old giant male. Just for reference, guys. This measuring boy goes all the way up to 12. Where is it? Goes all the way up to 12 inches. Mouse at the zero mark tail hanging off that's a big sandy right there guys not a fat one but a big one fish on fish are on dude fish freaking on bro look how he ate that little white grub uh, my pliers are over there by my scissors if you need them. i don't need them clearly what i was doing wasn't working in the other spot so i moved down with andrew on a yellow beaten up jig my grub's a three inch yum grub i had to switch it up because as you can see it's pretty windy and unfortunately my package flew into the wind um but besides that guys nice little white bass nice male just giving it a real slow retrieve working the bank nice little white bass hard just double white curly tailing not doing anything special like i was saying earlier this water temp is perfect right now it should be 50-ish, 55-ish, right in there. These fish should be active, whether it's deep, shallow. They're ready to chase bait, so should be no problem out here today. All we're doing is just casting a little curly tail, giving it a little, let's say like a medium retrieve, nothing too fast, nothing too slow. Letting the current drift it down a little bit. This is easy fishing right here, guys. If y'all don't sand bass fish, I highly recommend it, man. This, this stuff right here can get super fun. And it's super addicting. Fish on. I don't want to drag me in loose, guys. Like I said, there's hybrids in here. I really don't want to hook one and have them break me off immediately. So, got to be prepared for anything, you know? Never know what you're going to hook into. That is not a big fish at all. Not by any means. But give them a solid 11 inches. Come here, little Sandy. Come here, Sandy, Sandy. I'm not sure if these fish are mating or what. I've only seen one group of like five fish just rolling around on top of each other. The rest of them have been pretty solo. So there's for sure some fish mating, but they're spawning or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure the exact term, but I know when they're doing that, they're not ready to eat. So we're focused on other things. You hear that owl? I just got hit when the owl was, when the owl was howling. When the owl was owling. Oh, oh. Fish on. Way out there too. That looks like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, you see that little side eye action? 
He thought, bro. <laughs> he fell off right at the bed. Hit him on that white curly tail. Nice little fish, guys. There we go. Choked it too. Probably my biggest one today, guys. It's a good size tank. Another decent one for today. Another male. A yellow. <laughs> Choked it. It's another decent one for today, guys. Yeah, I got it. About fucking time. These fish are on fire today. All right, guys. I don't know what number I'm at. I saw his mouth about ten inches. That's a tank, bro. Good fifteen-inch sandy right there, guys. something nice 11 inch 12 inch sand bass hit right at the bank throwing this little bitty uh watermelon with the chartreuse blade like 1 16th got like about a foot liter i'm rocking braid so someone told me to switch it up and use this instead of what i was using earlier today and it works so I should keep fishing with it That one actually might be Tim, bro. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> dude, he just spermed on me, bro. Come on, dude. I ended up using, losing all my roosters. I switched it up. Tied on a one eighth jig with a uh, curly tail that's split tail. I think it's by big, big bait, big mouth baits. First cast with it, got him a nice little sandy. Oh, shit. same thing, exact same thing. Hitting right at the feet. Nice size uh, male sand bass, guys. It's taking forever for me to finish off the limit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little football. Nice sand bass. You wanna be in the video, bro? That's crazy, bro. Sheesh. Damn, that's a big ass yellow bass. It's a tank yellow bass, guys. That's easily like a nine, nine and a half inch yellow bass. Tank. They're back, boy. So the keeper today, we're getting real close to the limit out here, guys. It's turning into a good day. Another keeper.
Little yellow. Another yellow. Oh. They're like right here in front of me. Another yellow, bro. Yeah, nice fishing with y'all, bro. Really good yellow for today. These big yellows in here, guys. Might as well come over here, bro. Same spot, man. Right at the bank. There must be like a deep hole right there or something. Slack water they're hanging out in. Nice sand, nice mill sand bass. It's cool when you meet cool people, man. Shouts out to those guys. I don't know if they want to be named, but shouts out to those guys. They pulled up, they started using this uh, leader technique, which I don't really believe in it, but after catching as many fish as I have in the past 20 minutes, I definitely believe in it, you know? We did it! Might have took us way too long, but we did it. That's it right there, boy. That's it right there, boy. Making sure these fish are alive. We got a couple of yellows on there. We got a couple of sandies. Mostly sandies. A couple of yellows, though. Get this content. <laughs> Look at that 10 inch sand bass compared to that yellow right there. <laughs> Dude, that is crazy. Yo, 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 welcome back. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back, YouTube. It's been a crazy day out here for us. It's been so... Okay, I'm going to end Well, guys, I think it's that time. Definitely a hard day to get on some fish. Started off good, slowed down for a good bit, picked back up. It was a rough day out here, guys, but to say the least, we got a single man limit. I think we had 26, 27 fish. I lost one on the bank. Lost I didn't record actually. one. I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, it was... It's fun. It wasn't very easy at all, but shout out to all the homies that we be meeting out here. It's good. Yeah. Nice fishing with y'all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, follow us on IG, TikTok, Wally Boys972. We have a Facebook page. It's live. Um, yeah, we're going to see we're you guys out, out there, Cook. Richard Jean, you know how he does that shit? He's like... He's like <laughs>